In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this with Canva. To preface this video and to keep it 100 with you all, you will in fact need Canva Pro to do this little tutorial because we will be using premium Canva tools. But don't worry, scan this code here or find the link in the description box down below to try Canva Pro for 30 days free. I promise you, you are going to love it. Now here we are at the homepage of Canva and quite simply, I like to always use the Instagram square post here, which is 1080 by 1080. You can go over here to a custom size if you would like, or again, go over here to create a design and then choose that social media 1080 by 1080 template, which we're going to do right now. Now my friends, keep a very close eye on what I'm going to be doing because it can be kind of confusing, but I promise you, once you get the foundational instructions down, this is going to be really super simple as long as you know how to layer your layers, okay? So to begin, I'm going to go over to elements here. And typically speaking, I like to create my profile images in circles, but with the design method I'm going to show you, this will work with pretty much any frame that you see here. So again, I'm just gonna go with the circle here. I'm gonna size this up. And then I'm going to fill this in with a color. So you can go up to here and you can choose just a flat color, or in this case, I'm gonna choose a gradient that I already have made in my brand kit here. Now, if you wanna create your own gradient, you very well can just go over here to add new color. And then instead from solid color, you wanna be in the gradient tab here. And this is where you can add in your multiple colors. You can use the eyedropper tool or put in that exact hex code. And you can also choose the direction of the gradient if you so choose. So in this case, if I move this light blue to the other side, it's going to change the gradient. So I like that. I'm going to actually right click on this and I'm going to duplicate this circle and make sure that they are perfectly on top of each other. Now, in this case, I am actually going to open up a second page here and i'm going to go into my uploads here and i'm just going to use this image now at this point what i'm going to do is remove the background you can see here immediately because we have are selected on this image we have this bg remover which is the background remover or you can open up this here and this will open up the panel of effects that you can apply to this photo again here is the background remover and then in my case i always like to add a shadow just to give this some extra dimension i like to choose the drop one and you can go in here and adjust the values if you'd like but this is sufficient for me now at this point i'm going to hit these three dots here and i'm just going to go in and copy this and i'm going to go to my first page i'm going to right click on the canvas and i'm going to hit paste now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this image and shift it into that second frame here so if i double click this we can adjust the uh, photo like that and essentially what you want to do the premise of this design here is that we want our head <laughs> to be popping out of the frame here but i'm just sizing this accordingly and at this point i have my rulers already turned on so you can go shift r to turn them on or you can go into file here go into settings and show rulers and guides now at this point what i want to do while still being in this crop mode is i want to create a guideline so i'm going to click and drag from the side here to pull it onto this side click and drag to pull it onto this side because i want to create guidelines for this image here now at this point i'm going to go ahead and hit done and now what we want to do is actually go to our second page here again we want to right click copy this and we want to also before we paste it onto here what i'm going to do is click on this circle frame i'm going to go into positions up here go into the layers tab and i'm actually going to lock this circle frame with my image in there i'm going to lock it down because if we don't do that if we again paste in our photo and try to position it over over top the frame here it's going to think that we want to drop this photo into the frame which in this case we don't want to do that so now what i'm going to do with the second image here is adjust it accordingly so it perfectly matches the image on the bottom here and that's why i added in those guidelines so that we can make sure it is positioned exactly where it needs to be 
just like that so hopefully that is perfect now at this point what i'm going to do is simply drag from the bottom here i'm going to crop the first photo and essentially what we want to do is to make sure that if we zoom in here that it perfectly aligns it's not entirely perfect you might need to use your keys just a little bit to adjust now this might be a little bit tricky if you are dealing with hair like i am in this case but other than that it's pretty much ideal but i wouldn't i wouldn't be so nitpicky with that because i don't think people really are going to focus too much on the bottom they're just going to think wow it's cool how her head is popping out of the frame sorry for the interruption let me drop this introduction i sell canva templates on issue for my real estate agent besties i don't have a beat on this track because i am not a rapper a singer all i do is help agents prosper scan this code right here and you'll be a winner or find the link to my Etsy shop in the description box down below subscribe for the good good vibes and let's get back to the video so at this point that's pretty much all you have to do is you want to have your image in one of the frames and then have the exact copy of that image right on top and then you want to just crop it now you can leave this as it is like that and just download this as a png uh, with a transparent background or you can go ahead and finesse this a little bit more which i'm going to show you so i'm actually going to duplicate this a second page and i'm going to go and click on positions go into layers i'm actually going to right click or just unlock that layer i'm still learning the new canva and at this point what we can do is create a, another copy of this circle frame and what you can do in this case is make sure it's lined up properly you can either drag in let's say your logo in here or you can drag a image of your city so let me actually do do this two times i'm going to in this case i'm going to drop a image here i might want to double click and the idea here is i'm going to make this transparent so that my brand colors come through we're going to go back into positions and then i'm going to just drag this as the second layer so that's what that would look like again you want to make sure that all layers are perfectly aligned just like that and then in this case with the logo if i go into my brand kit here i can plop my logo right into there and it might not be the best effect <laughs> but because this logo is already in a circle if i put this in the back that's kind of what it would look like or you might want to adjust it by extending it just a little bit like that like that and go back into positions and put this there or you might want to make it transparent something like that but not really like that you kind of get the idea the gist so there we go and again just play around with your layers put it behind kind of like that it just makes it interesting rather than having just a flat color or just a gradient and what you can also do in this case is create a another outline so in this case what i would do is let's say for this one we're gonna go to elements and go and find a regular regular circle then i'm going to apply the same gradient but in this case i'm going to click on the sliders again and i'm actually going to switch switch like that and then i'm just going to make this bigger make ideally this circle bigger than the other circle frames go into positions put this as the last layer and depending on how thick you want your border, you just might have to play around with the size like that. Or in this case, if you want to have a white ring and then a gradient ring, this is what you can also do. So I'm going to copy this here, go into my other page here. I'm going to paste it. And in this case, I'm actually going to make the fill color transparent. And then I'm going to go into here border style i'm going to move the weight up like that and then i'm going to click here which is the border color and you can actually use the gradient as the border color as well now in this case we will have to obviously put this ring at the back and again depending on how thick you have your border weight you can play around with having an additional ring around of just that 
white or in this case if you do download this image as a png you will have a transparent ring and then the gradient ring so i'm just going to turn off my <laughs> rulers there and so you have a pop-up profile like this like this or like this again you can have and really do anything you want with this again as mentioned you want to go in here and download all of these profile images with a transparent background so it has to be a png and then you want to toggle this on transparent background which again this is a canva pro tool and then i'm just gonna only select the first three pages go ahead and hit download and you are pretty much done so let me download this and i'll show you what it looks like all right so once you have that all downloaded it's going to be in a zip file so go ahead and open that up but here is the first image here and you can see here it's just the gradient and then us popping out if i head over to the second one this is what that one would look like again and then the third one here is going to be that gradient uh, ring but with the transparent in a ring if that makes sense so there you go my friends that is how you create a beautiful pop out 3d profile image effect if you try this please come back to this video let me know in the comments how that went but of course if you made it to the end of this video then you know what it is you know what to do yeah comment down below hashtag end crew so i know you are a real one please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss any videos from me and if you want to learn more cool profile picture designs then definitely check out this video here which is where i show you how to create a animated logo profile gif with canva which is super cool so if you're ready get ready to click in three two one